vlog family. It's Sunday evening. Uh, daylight savings time was last night. So all day today, it's felt like it's later than what it actually is. It is currently nine o'clock, but it feels like it's 10 o'clock because we just had to shift all of the clocks back an hour. So um, my internal time clock is having to get adjusted for that. But I am sitting down to just kind of relax for a bit. Dan should be home soon from work, hopefully. I am getting ready. That's the button I want. Getting ready, I'm gonna watch myself some Emperor's New Groove, which I should make sure that's down a bit. There we go. I have my candle lit, which I put a picture of this on Instagram, but this is currently my all time favorite candle currently, this apple pumpkin scent, and it is amazing. So I have that lit and I have all of my stuff for videos. I'm gonna sit down, maybe try to hash out a few more ideas, organize my ideas a little more, get sort of a game plan going for Wednesday video format for what I'm filming for all of that, and just enjoy some good old Emperor's New Groove in the background. Um, I was gonna go to Goodwill today to look for the fall decorations like I had mentioned in last week's vlog. Didn't end up going. I did do all the grocery shopping today, so I'm planning on going to Goodwill tomorrow to look for that. So I'll bring you guys along with me because I'm also going to be taking down the few Halloween things that I have up and then putting up whatever fall stuff we happen to find. But that's basically the plan for tonight and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello everybody, it is Monday now. Dan and I are just heading out. We are gonna go and do a little bit of shopping um, for the fall stuff that I was telling you about yesterday. And we've decided to go to Dollar Tree first before we go to Goodwill because Dollar Tree typically has a decent amount of cute things for really cheap. So we're gonna go there first and look around and see what we can find and then go to Goodwill to walk around because we haven't been there for a while and we do really enjoy just looking around at stuff at Goodwill. So that's that's the plan currently. Thank you. Well, of course there's lots and lots of Christmas things already. Well, <laughs> waste no time. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can find. Nope, that is all Christmas. Thanksgiving cards. Just decorate the walls with Thanksgiving cards. <laughs> We've stopped at the... Mm -hmm. well, there's the elf again. <laughs> the wrapping paper now because mm -hmm. I'm finding some very adorable wrapping paper. So we've essentially given up on trying to find anything fall themed and are now just looking at the wrapping papers. <laughs> Small loss. Update. We've found the fall things. It consists of this single end cap. <laughs> okay, so we've come into Goodwill now. And it looks like we're finding a little bit more in the fall theme things. Nice brooch. It's beautiful. Dan's making some coffee. And on the agenda now, we are back home, obviously, uh, but now what I'm going to work on is putting away all of the Halloween stuff and the couple of little like basket things that I showed you that are all over there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put up the fall stuff, which after I put all the Halloween stuff away, then I'll show you the fall stuff. So this is really the only things that we found at Goodwill. It's only three things, not that much, but we have this cute wreath, which we're going to, I don't know where we're gonna hang it up yet, but we don't really like, Dan and I don't really like these like feather things. So I'm gonna go through and cut all of those off and then see what we have to work with from there. And then we have this cute little sign that just says, gather together in gratitude. How you get that glare off of there? There we go. So that, which I thought was pretty cute. And then we have this really neat like pumpkin looking basket that I thought was really cute. So I've been thinking about putting actually all of the Halloween candy that's over there in here. All right, it is much later now. I have all the Halloween stuff just in a bag right there. But the 
fall themed things I have kind of set out. You can see it's really dark, sorry. You can see I have the little like pumpkin-y fall ba basket thing there with all the candy and it is like near overflowing because of the sheer amount of candy that we have. So if you guys know me, I mean, come on over and eat the candy. I have the little sign that we got just hanging up there with my guitar. Again, it's super dark and just sitting up there right now. It's not like, I don't know. It's probably not gonna stay there, but I'm also not gonna bother moving it right now. And then this is what the reef looks like. Reef, 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 not reef. This is not an underwater coral collection. This is what the reef looks like now. And I think it looks really super cute without all of those things on it. So I'm gonna get a command strip to hang it on the outside of the door. So we have that there, which will be really cute. But now I'm going to sit down and finish watching The Emperor's New Groove because I did not get very far into that at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish watching that because when Dan got home, he wanted to watch the Packers game. But I have the Meal of Champions in front of me. If you look, it is a wonderfully balanced diet of ramen soup, peanut butter and jelly, and Doritos. So, you know, living it up. Look at our autumn wreath on the door. It looks so good. And it does. Dan and I are on our way out. It's Wednesday now. We're on our way out to go to Family Dollar. Um, I got a flyer for Family Dollar in the mail, looked at it, and it said buy one, get one 50% off on all of their like fall decor. And it showed a whole a picture with a whole bunch of really cute fall items. So we're headed out because today's the last day that that little promo is valid. So, we're gonna go do that. I'm trying really hard to wake up. I am just super, super tired. We just pulled up to Family Dollar and it looks like there's a fish store next door. There's a big glare on the screen, so I have no idea if you can see that or not. I'll find out later. But either it's a fish store or it's a cleverly named bowling alley. Mm. I'm not really sure. Hello everybody, it is Thursday now. I, I'm never quite sure what day it is as soon as I start recording. I wanted to show you because we went, the last clip I think that you saw was us going into Family Dollar. And well, for one, that little like aquarium slash bowling alley place that we didn't know what it was, it's actually an arcade. And you have to like get permission to go in via like a bell that you have to ring and wait for somebody to let you in. It's very strange. But we went to Family Dollar to get some more like fall themed things and they had the sale because they were trying to just get rid of the stock so they didn't have that much to choose from but I wanted to show you what I did get. So the first thing that I got was this cute little towel, like hand towel. So that is hanging up there. The next thing that I got were these adorable owl salt and pepper shakers and look at how cute they are. So they have temporarily taken over the spot of our regular owl and robin salt and pepper shaker that match that picture that Dan painted. So I got those as well which were super cute. And I got this little pumpkin here that I think is really cute and it has like a little like copper leaf on the top of it. And just very cute and very simple. So he's hanging out up there with Paddington and Lithos. But I think that was it. Really not that much, just tiny little things to decorate with, which I think, I, I like it. I think I would have liked a little more, but with the space that we have and not wanting to keep buying more things, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm not gonna go trying to get anything more. I mean, I would kind of like a tablecloth. But we'll see. 
I'm going over to Jessica's on Saturday for a movie night, which is going to be super fun. I'll bring you guys with and maybe vlog a little bit of that because she wanted to have a movie night. And apparently we're going to watch The Greatest Showman, which I am very excited about because I have never seen The Greatest Showman and I've been wanting to see it. And Dan doesn't like musicals, so he's not about to sit through a musical with me. Especially one with Zac Efron and Hugh Jackman singing. So... I'm very excited because I'll be surrounded by people that will be able to memorize the songs with me and sing along with me. So that's going to be great. Wait, what I tried to start doing, because if you've been watching these vlogs for a decent amount of time, you'll know that for a short period of time I tried doing like a focus of the week where each week I would have something that I would focus on. And it would be, sometimes it would be like sewing stuffed animals and one week it would be just organizing things for the whole week and then one week was pr uh, practicing my German and different things like that. And I've gotten out of the habit of doing that the second we left for vacation and I've not gotten back into it. But what I have tried doing, because if I don't have some sort of list or focus, I just lose track of time very easily. So what I've started trying to do is I have this journal that I don't remember where I got it. I think my mom got it for me for Christmas or something. What I've done is I have basically, I'm just opening it up and writing like a to-do list on it for every single day. And I'm writing things that I need to get done in that day, plus anything else I can think of that I want to get done. Whether that be fix a strap, like re-sew a strap on a tank top that I have, or completely organize and declutter our closet or prep for certain videos that I have planned for in November and December and just all sorts of things like that and they're all of them are not like I don't need to do all of those things in that day so I have the list and then what I'll do is I'll circle the little dashes next to the next to each item that I need to accomplish in that day and I only make sure to write down or to circle like two or three of those and they're never anything massive because one thing I've noticed is if I try to make a list and I make it an unreasonable list and I don't follow through and I'm not able to fulfill everything I wrote on that list, I get discouraged and I stop making the list and then I stop doing things and I stop being productive. So I've done it where I only have like two or three things that I circle that need to be done unless I know that that day is a very specific day with lots of deadlines and it's just going to be a very busy day. But then I itemize everything so I can cross more things off because then it makes you feel more accomplished the more things you're crossing off of your list. I am out of breath. I'm a freak when it comes to lists because I'm talking about this list and I'm like sweating oh my gosh I need to calm down <sighs> that is what I've been doing for almost a week now and it's working really well because I'm able to go through and look at the past days of just things that I've wanted to accomplish but I know I might not get done that day so that like today Everything I've wanted to accomplish today that like I circled that needed to be accomplished is done. So now I'm just going through the list of things I had written down that I want to accomplish and I'm just being like, hmm, which one of those do I want to tackle now? And then I can just do them. And it's a great way if you know you have a ton of stuff you want to do but you can never remember what it is when you want to do it. It's a great way to be able to just refer to this list and be like, oh yeah, I did want to do that one thing. Oh yeah, I did need to go grab that quick. And what I do to make sure I remember it the best is I put it by my bed before I go to sleep because everyone should relate to when you lay down at the end of the day, you're getting tired, you want to take a nap, you lay down, you put your head on your pillow, and immediately you think of 20 things you need to do. And that's why I have that list. I just pick up my book and I write it all down quick and then it's done. I don't have to think about it anymore. And then I can go to sleep because I'm not worried about forgetting it because it's written down right there. So... That is what I've been trying to do, and it seems to be working pretty well. I need to give it a little more time just to make sure that it's actually working, and it's not just like, a, oh, this is something new, so I'm going to have fun with it for a week and then get bored. Yay! So, we'll see. But it's about 20 after 7 right now, so I'm just going to keep doing little miscellaneous things. I need to put away all of those. 
And then I might try to tackle another thing. I also kind of need to clean all of that up because that's like a mess. So there's that. All right, hello everybody. It is Saturday night now. I just got back a little bit ago from Jessica's. We had a great time. We made some, like a trail mix type thing that's called, it's like, it's called reindeer crack. Never heard of it, but this is what it looks like. And it's essentially, it's like bugles and Fritos and M&Ms and pretzels and Chex Mix and peanuts all put together and covered in white chocolate. So, it's good in small quantities, it's good. And so we made that. And then we also watched The Greatest Showman, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I really liked that movie. So I'm gonna have to memorize all of those songs now and sing them all the time. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next week with another vlog. Bye.